let me guess you are a web designer and you click this video because you're looking for inspiration for your next project and right now you are probably frustrated because you don't know where to start or where to look for good inspiration don't worry in this video i show you the only inspiration resources that every web designer needs and that i use for my project so let's start before we start with websites and resources here's one quick tip when you are gathering inspiration you need a way to organize it Personally, I keep a mood board in my Figma file, and as I browse through the sites I'm about to share, I save everything there. That way, when I start designing, all my ideas are organized in one place. Also, I like to split inspiration into two categories. The first one is visual and style aesthetics. The second one is layout and sections. This will make sense as we go through the list. Let's start with the famous ones, awards, dribble, and beyonds. Now, these websites are great for unique visuals and creative aesthetics, but here is the truth behind these websites. They often showcase experimental websites that have usability issues like bad text contrast or extreme scroll hijacking. Scroll hijacking is when a website takes control of how you scroll, instead of moving smoothly and naturally. The site forces you into animation, section or effects. They can also have performance issues that you can notice if you run them on page speed in sites. And for beginners, they can set expectation to high. Now let's move on to the resources that I actually use all the time. The first one is Godly, a gallery of a unique website with tons of features. Great to find sites similar to the type you are designing for. I personally love the animation on the landing page featured here. They always impress me and give me ideas that I can apply to my own projects. Minimal Gallery states that it only features functional and beautiful designed website. I can personally state that it's packed with inspiring, clean and minimalistic website. In my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best one, when you are trying to find inspiration for a website or an app that has to be minimalistic and modern. Dark.design and darkmodedesign.com are my ghost tools when designing dark mode. Both offer great tags and categories and every type of dark mode website you can imagine. I use them when I need some ideas for a dark mode website or a specific section. Footer is the only footer gallery on earth and a super underrated gem for every designer. It's entirely dedicated to footer's inspiration of every kind. The footer is often a neglected component even though it's the last thing users see and probably remember along with the hero section. This website has a lot of filters and tags and helps me experiment with my footers and make them stand out. Then we have Saspo, my personal favorite. This is a goldmine of SAS website inspiration with thousands of examples. The best part, you can filter by section, industry, style, asset and even technology stack. It's perfect for both early brainstorming and when you need inspirations for a specific section. When I'm designing a section and run out of ideas, it really saves me. I highly recommend you to give it a go. Mobbing and upshots are the best for UI and UX flows. From onboarding to super complex flows, you'll see your real apps solve design challenges. They really help me when I am designing a mobile app and I don't know how to solve a specific user flow problem. The best thing is that you can see complete professional design of real user flows. Wall of Portfolio is a massive collection of creative portfolios from real designers who often work with big brands. You can filter by style, layout, experience and country. It's really helpful if you are working on your own portfolio or a client's one. So this is the end of my list. I recommend you to stick to the resources that actually work for your personal design process. You don't need 100 different sites that recycle the same examples over and over. The ones I just shared are more than enough to fuel your creativity for any project and are all linked in the description of this video. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment down below. That's all for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.